Hey there, welcome to my channel, you are in the right place if you want to learn Android, so if you want to learn how to make a basic currency converter in Android, then watch this video till the end. Let's get started, launch the Android Studio and start a new project. Click Finish. Open the XML page and delete the Hello World text view. And change the constraint layout to relative layout. To make the activity look beautiful, I am here changing its background, if you want to know how to do that, link is in the description below. Set its width and height. Set the background color white. This is the hex code of white color. Now customize the font of this text view, you can change the size, style, color etc. Assign an ID to this text view. Now copy this text view section and paste it here. Change the text color of the text view in the edit text. You can set any color you want by using the hex codes or by defining a new color in color resource section. Now add a button. This button will be clicked by the user to convert the currency. Customize its layout and make it beautiful. Look how I centered the layout in its parent. Here, I am customizing the text by changing its size, color, style and font. Keep the text bold and use monospace font for a better look. Set the text size of the button to 15 SP, remember, always use SP in texts, don't use DP, otherwise your text will vary on different devices. Now I am assigning this button an ID, an ID is used for defining a resource. After assigning an ID, we need to set a onclick listener to this button. You may use onclick listener when you want your components to react when user clicks on them. It will show an error. Click on the error and select create button view in main activity. This will automatically create a new method in main activity. Now assign three variables. The variable needs the view of that button we just created, find view by id is a method that finds the view from the layout resource file that are attached with current activity. R is a class in Android that are having the IDs of all the views. Now let's start the real coding, assign a string variable and get the text of dollar screen by using a get text method. The value we got by using the getText method is basically not a string value. Look, we need to typecast this extracted text into string in order to assign this to a string variable. Now take a double variable and assign the value of variable dollar to it by typecasting. See how I did that. Here multiply the current value of dollar by the variable d, I am taking 75. Now the main part, set the value of rupee in the rupee screen by using setText method, but first typecast it to string. Now running the code, hope it works. Running the app in your Android phone is a better option. If this tutorial helped you, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, press the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload anything new.